Hey what's up everyone this is Sora Way from Techyard and in today's video I will be showing you some Motorola X4 tips and tricks. Now for existing Motorola users just you don't have to watch this video you already know these things but for new Motorola users especially Motorola X4 users this I think this video is useful to you so watch this till the end. Watch this till the end. Now guys the first thing that you can disable is the Google feed option. Now how to do that? go to the settings of the launcher and you can easily see the settings option right here go to the swipe ac access option and select nothing that nothing option over there you select it and you can easily get easily get rid of this google feed some people say google feed i call it google cards and there are not uh, not a lot of widgets right here but the more apps you download the more widgets you get that's how the universe works okay now that's how the android works <laughs> anyways guys so there is another thing that i practically hate about Motorola and that is on screen nav button but you can easily change that which is a good thing about Motorola I also love that thing now the last Motorola phone that I reviewed was the Motorola G5s plus and I think that uh, there are two things that has been implemented in this uh, phone which were not present there one is the Moto key and the second thing is the Moto voice if I am not wrong and guys talking about the moto key the moto key is kind of like an authenticator more or less now let me tell you how it works first of all you have to connect your motorola x4 to your laptop or desktop and then suppose you have you want to access a certain website from your pc or laptop and suppose it's a facebook.com website so if you really want to if you really think that you need authentication for that uh, otherwise someone else will be using your facebook if they log in from your pc you can use use this feature while they want to you know access the facebook.com you have to give your permission by pressing the uh, fingerprint sensor and you then you give the permission to access the facebook.com and then you can access the facebook.com from your pc and now there is a third second thing which is a quick screenshot i'm sorry in the beginning i was going for the xiaomi route but I, then i realized that you have to tap the three fingers just once and keep it right there and it will take the screenshot it is a better way to take a screenshot than the xiaomi ones you have to you know take a swipe all the three fingers like wolverine which i think was not a better option i think that was not better it is the better option i think now like i said i hate the on-screen nav buttons but i love the on-screen navigations on motor devices or lenovo devices now first of all you have to enable it by going right here now tell, let me tell you how it works the fingerprint sensor turns out uh, works as a one screen nav button you press it once it goes to the home button you swipe left it goes to the previous screen you swipe right it goes to the recent apps tab and guys if you press it for quite a long time it will open the google uh, you know google uh, assistant i forgot that name how can i do that now like i said i uh, swiped re right and got the recent apps menu and I went to the Moto apps again. Now there is this chop twice for flashlight and this is the feature that I think it should not be here is the swipe to screen, uh, swipe to shrink the screen. Now it is a 5.2 inch device. I don't think anyone would need it. I think Motorola was thinking that a two year old babies will be using the phone, which may be true, but I think that in a 5.2 inch display device, this is not necessary, you know, shrinking the screen. Chop twice for flashlight turned out to be a lifesaver for me twice and uh, this is a very good feature. Chop the phone twice and your flashlight will glow and it will show you your path if you are in a dark environment. It really saved my life twice guys really. Now talking about the Moto display it's like a glance screen on a Lumia or a Nokia device. Now guys, uh, the Moto Display has an issue of battery draining. If you think that enabling the Moto Display won't do nothing basically, it's wrong. It will definitely drain your battery. Yeah, it will definitely give you some extra advantage, but it will definitely drain your battery. So keep that in mind. We do get the voice command in the Motorola X4, but I, you know, I tend to prefer the Google Assistant over this one. So I'm not gonna use it, but you can easily use it if you really want to. So guys, these are the things that you get with the Moto app. Now there are some things that we get on the settings in built, like the wireless sound system. Now you can connect up to four Bluetooth devices individually 
and one Wi-Fi device is running at 2.4 GHz, which is freaking awesome because it is a really very premium kind of feature that we get on our 23,000 rupees phone. Well, we do get premium phones, uh, flagship phones in this price, but nonetheless, it's a very good inclusion, I would say. Now we do get some nougat good goodness like uh, the screen uh, size. We do get the color profile, the vibrant and the standard. I normally use the vibrant one, but if you really are into more uh, natural uh, like uh, natural colors, go for the standard one. And uh, yeah, the standard one won't give won't give you much better battery backup. That's not the case right here. Now going to the about phone option, guys. Tap on the build number for eight to nine times, and it will enable the developer mode. Now, if you don't know what developer mode is, let me tell you that you can do a lot of stuff with the developer mode. You can easily root your phone, install TWRP, install custom ROMs, uh, you know, uh, you know, handle the phone via the ADB. You can do a lot of stuff with that if you really know how to do. If you don't know, you don't have to play with that section. Now, press on this uh, settings icon for a few seconds and it will enable the system UI tuner. Now, there are only two works that you can do by going here one is you know adding the numerical value of the battery percentage inside the battery icon so i'm gonna show you right there and the second thing is that well press on the always show percentage and you can see my battery percentage is 77 percent that you can see right here and there's another thing called the you know time and if you go to the time you can easily add the seconds and just beside the minutes i mean if the second is currently 5 30 seconds so it will show like 5 36 30 over there so guys this is all for today hope you love this video vote it up if you loved it vote it down if you disliked it share with your friends don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video stay awesome stay subscribed bye bye now